Hello, welcome to the second lesson of this topic, which is symmetry, and we want to look at planes of symmetry. I want to thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please for, don't forget to invite other people so that we can be a bigger team. All right, so we want to look at what is involved in uh, planes of symmetry. From here, I'm going to take you to how the questions come in the past papers. I'll have a good number of past papers here, so I'm going to refer you to the past exam papers. Okay, so let's get started. We're right. When a mirror is placed on a line of symmetry, okay, when a mirror is placed on the line of symmetry of a two-dimensional shape and looked at from either side, the shape looks the same. Okay, the shape looks the same. The shape looks the same. So, um, what they are talking about here, for instance, is uh, if you've got something like this one, okay, when you have this, when you put a mirror here, okay, when you put a mirror on the part that it is like on the line of symmetry. And when, when you look into this mirror, okay, this is what they're saying, that the shape that is going to appear is going to look the same, okay? So in other words, each half of the shape is a mirror image of the other, okay? And then in a similar way, when a plane cuts a, when a plane cuts a 3D shape in two, so that each half is a mirror uh, image of the other half. The plane is called a plane of symmetry. Okay. So now, look at this one. I hope we are seeing what is trying to be demonstrated here. Now, I'm going to use the same here. We are saying, in how many ways can we cut this one? Okay, we want to look at the planes of symmetry. The question will always be, how many planes of symmetry? Okay, like, uh, let me give you an example of how the questions do come in the exam. Like, this is uh, a question exactly from the exam paper, as it is here. So, the diagram below shows a regular hexa, hexagonal prism. State the number of planes of symmetry. So, that is what I want to establish. How do you state the number of planes of symmetry? So, how many planes of symmetry does this uh, figure have? I think this is... Uh, what we want to establish, as you can see, if you have any of these books, you can use them, they're very good. Okay, so this one, how many planes of, in how many ways can we cut this thing so that we have two identical shapes, okay? One of those ways is where we can cut in here. We are going to produce two similar or identical uh, shapes okay this is one so we call this like one plane the second one the second one is if we cut it this way if we cut it in the middle here we are also going to produce two similar shapes okay the last one which is demonstrated in that book is where you cut it this way here okay you cut it here I hope you have seen what I'm doing. Okay. Where you cut it here. So this one has three planes of symmetry. You can cut it this way. You are going to have two identical shapes. Or you can cut it in this way. Okay. You can cut it in this way. You are going to have two shapes. Or the last one is where you cut it this way. Okay. Or you cut it there. So this one has three planes of symmetry. Okay. What about this one? In how many ways can we cut this one so that we produce something that is exactly the same? Okay? How many ways? Let's look at it. This. In how many ways? In how many ways can we cut this so that it looks exactly the same? We should have two shapes that are going to look the same. Those are the planes of symmetry. So we can start with this one. Okay? This is going to be the first one. You can cut it this way and you're going to have 
two shapes that will look exactly the same. The second one is where you're going to cut it like this. Okay? Where you're going to cut it like this and you're going to have the same shapes that will look the same way. The third one is where you cut it in a diagonal way, this, which is this way. Okay? And the fourth one is where we cut it this way. We'll be producing identical shapes. Okay? Then we're going to have the last one where we can cut it here. So this one has five planes of symmetry. This one. It has got five planes of symmetry. This one. Okay? It has five planes of symmetry. The same applies to this one. It has got four. Why four? We've got this one, the other one, and this one here. The fourth one is this one that cuts it halfway. We can cut it in this way. We are going to have two identical shapes. Or you can use it, cut it this way. We're going to have, or it will be this way. Okay? Plus the, the middle one. So this is going to give us four. This, this I said five. This one I'm saying four. Okay? What about this one? Okay? So this one, it will only be four. This is a pyramid. Square-based pyramid. This is a square-based pyramid. This is a square-based pyramid. So it is going to be cut into uh, four. And we're going to have, if you cut it this way, okay? If you cut it this way, here, to give us two, the other way is this one, then plus the diagonal ones, this one and the other one here. So this is going to have four a planes of symmetry. What is the difference with this one? Okay. This is going to have five. But this one, because we can't cut it in the middle way to have two identical shapes, this way we don't cut. So we're just going to look at the bottom. Okay. So this has four planes of symmetry here. This has four planes of symmetry. But uh, you're going to see how they... What about this one? This is going to have like many because you can cut it in any way. Even this side, of course, you know that it will be one. But here you don't have it to be as many as possible. Then let's look at this one. Planes of symmetry. Planes of symmetry. So when it's becoming like this, the best that you do, you just count these. Should I call them the corners or the vertices? This point. One, two, three, four, five. So this one is going to have five planes of symmetry. This side, it can be cut into five ways. Then you add the middle one, which is going to be the sixth one. Are we together? You add the middle one, which is going to be the sixth one. So we are looking at in how many ways can we cut this thing and produce two shapes or two figures that look exactly the same. That's what we are talking about. Okay? That's what we are talking about. Okay? That's what we are talking about. That's what we're talking about. So this one, that is basically what you're supposed to know. For this one, it will be what? One, two, three, four, five. That's all. The sixth one is not going to work because the shapes will be different. Okay? But for this, yes, this can also be cut and we're going to have two shapes. Planes of symmetry. What are we saying? How many ways can we cut this thing and produce two shapes that are identical or that are the same this half and this half they are the same that's what we're talking about the planes of symmetry the planes of symmetry that's basically what we are talking about okay that's basically that's what we're talking about planes of symmetry okay so we want we need to know that planes of symmetry i think i've demonstrated this is a cube this is a cube this is a cube. This is a cube. Okay. Do a research on how many planes of symmetry uh, does a cube have. I've given you that assignment. Find out how many planes of symmetry does a cube have. Okay. A cube. How many planes of symmetry? Okay. That is the 
planes of symmetry and how many ways can you cut it so that you have two identical okay so for a cone a cone also for a cone you know we are talking about how many ways can you cut it a cone this the base is a circle a cone for the base is a circle so even a cone for the planes of symmetry i think we can produce as many as possible as long as the bo the base is a circle or it's circular as long as the base is circular then it's difficult to determine how many so it should be just many so here is an, a simple exercise that i prepared for you write down the number of planes of symmetry of each of the of each of these figures okay This one I earlier showed you. Should also find the answer here. There is also one here. There is also one here. How many planes of symmetry? Okay. Okay, here is another one. Okay, in other words, this shape. It's the same shape that I gave you, okay? This shape is, what they have drawn here is this one. This, this is what they have drawn here. This which I gave you, square-based pyramid. And I talked about it, this one, okay? That's what they're drawing there, okay? Otherwise, thank you very much for subscribing to our channel and the for watching the video okay so please don't forget to comment on how best we can contribute to your passing okay thank you so much